Hi again, this is Arlene. We're making this Eagle letter opener. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start trimming the rest of the body. So let me show you how that goes. Just kind of trim this off underneath. Round, round it off a little bit everywhere. And you want to round off the head, or oh, we'll do the back side first. And we're just rounding things off a little bit. Now, it's going to be kind of interesting because the, this really took me longer than the head to do because this almost has to be like a bevel on this side and a bevel on this side. Like four, two bevels on either side so you have a point, a point on the, uh, like you have a, a knife edge on either side. So we're going to start rounding this off and start putting this bevel in. So you're going to go down one side, like so. Go down the other. Go along with the grain. Remember, you have to go with the grain. And we're not going to do the whole thing. It'll just be maybe two, two and a half inches from the bottom that we really want that pronounced. And you have to be careful, folks, with this. You don't want to chip this out. So you're going to just do it a little bit at a time, just like so. And you're going to do the other side. And then you're going to, ooh, just like that. Well, so I had saving grace there. See that? <laughs> That's all right. We can work with that. That's what I mean. You have to be careful. I'm trying to rush this because of the tape. But um, this is how it goes. That's kind of right where I need it to be. I was lucky that time, folks. For sure. Okay, so we're going to go on the other side. We're going to slowly get that to a point. We're going to leave the middle portion kind of thick. Okay, see how thick this is? And the reason I have the board here, the, the cardboard, is this was brown and against the brown table you wouldn't be able to see it as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to round it up and um, you know, try to get that bevel in there. And then we're going to kind of shave this up a little bit. Cut it down and thin it up a little bit. And then go back to our two bevels again. And uh, try to get that point up there a little bit. Okay, when we get down here, I'm going to sand some of this because um, that's going to be easier. But you have to get that, see that's way too thick yet. So. You keep chopping away on either side until you get that bevel just where you want it. Okay? Not quite. I'm going to thin this out a little bit, which is fine. You can do that, um, but it still has to be a bit of a bevel. You know, the one uh, tape that I did on sharpening knives is kind of the same concept. You want this not to be too rounded. Otherwise, it won't go through the paper right. Okay. We keep chopping this off. That's okay. You know, keep going at it here. Just like this. All right. See how that goes. We'll do the other side. And you're kind of working against the grain because I constantly have to keep switching it back and forth. I don't want that super, super thin. You can see how thick that is. It's not real, real thick. See, we've got a little ways to go. Yeah, that's still too thick on this one. Sometimes it's easier working from the tip backwards. And then that kind of gives you a little bit of a guideline. Okay, see how we have that bevel now? It's starting to shape up. Let's do the other side as well. There's a little bit of work on the head. There's not over amounts of work on the head, but putting in the eyeballs and defining the bill a little bit. 
This is a nice little stir project if you just want something simple. You don't have to make this into a letterhead. If you just wanted to chop it off and use it as a as an ornament for Christmas or if you just wanted to do one side and put a little hanger on it, you could hang it on a wall or whatever you like to do. You make them thin enough, you could even make it into a bookmarker. I didn't just thought of that. I haven't made one that thin yet, but that would be an interesting piece to have the head sticking out and a nice thin piece of wood going underneath. So you can make it either way. But I made it into a letter opener. And this gets rounded up here. Let me see how this is looking. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We're going to just chop a little bit off here and still try to shave this so it's... See, now I have two bevels. I have one on this side, one on this side, one here, and one here. So that looks pretty good. So I'm going to wait a little bit until I can get the sandpaper out. The kind of sandpaper that I use, folks, is the stuff from the dollar store. You'll find this where you have nails and, you know, um, nail polish, emery boards. This is a very nice little block. Let's see, I can use this. It's about a 320. So you will be sanding this. So you'll need some sandpaper. I have like a 120 and I have this one. See how nice and smooth that goes? And then you do the other side. You can do this offline. I'm sorry. I'm hitting the camera here. Um, you know, you can do both sides so you get that real sharp edge on there on both sides. And that's what I use to to get that. So you can use an emery board or you can use one of this or just regular sandpaper. But have something that's in a block that it will be able to, um, able to uh, uh, be kind of flat on one side. You don't want to round those edges off. Okay, so on the next segment, we're going to start working on the head. And what I'm going to do is I'm going offline. I'm going to try to sand this a little better down here that we're done with this portion. And then we'll start on the head. Okay, we'll be back.